we're going to make a helium atom. This is our electron cloud. It's like a soft ball of cotton. Let's open it up. Oh, there we go. We are now going to put in some symbolic protons in there. We'll use the yellow little balls. Helium has two protons. Its proton number is two, so we put in two protons. How many neutrons does it have? Well, usually it has two. The Journey to Neon Game Element Passport Generator comes with these passports that you can use to figure out how many neutrons your element has. Helium, for example, has a little game inside that says this. The atomic weight of your helium is 4.002 unified atomic mass units unless you can roll the 12-sided die five times and get a one every time. Then put one red and two blue shapes into a cloth bag. If you pull out the red shape, then your atomic weight is 3.016. But the chances of this happening is point Oh, 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 one, three, seven percent. So that would be very rare. Usually, you just have two neutrons in helium. If you get this rare event, you would only have one. And on this side of the passport, it tells you how to figure out how many neutrons you get from your mass number. You round off your mass number to a whole number and then you subtract the number of protons in your element. So, if the atomic weight of your helium is 4.002 and you round it off to 4, then if you subtract Two, your proton number from that, you get two neutrons. We're going to roll some dice, and if we get that number five times in a row, there's a chance we might get less than two neutrons. So we'll start there. So we got a four. Let's see what we get the next time. Roll it again. Nope. So we're just going to have two neutrons. Now we'll get our neutrons, the other colored little balls, which are very sticky. And they are going to stick to these protons. Now we'll close up our little electron cloud. There we go. Now it's time for our electrons. We've made a couple arrows out of cut paper and colored them in because in the Journey to Neuron series, we use arrows to represent electrons. They're much more complicated than just little points or dots. They're very light and they're very fast and they've got a lot of interesting properties that you can find out about if you study chemistry. What we'll do is we'll take our electron cloud and we can put these arrows anywhere we like in this cloud, but we can only fit two. So we'll put the arrows in the cloud and then we'll put the cloud in a shell. We have some little plastic shells here, the kind that are used to put um, prizes in gumball machines, for example, but you could use a plastic Easter egg or something that um, encloses your electron cloud. And it's two electrons and the protons inside. One 
once you snap this shut, those electrons are no longer available to bond to anything. So not only have we got ourselves a helium, but if we wanted to make something bigger, we have a little helium inside. We'd have to open it up, put more protons and neutrons, and you could build on it on the outside. We'll do that later.